You'll all recognize this. It's Excel, doing what it does best, taking numbers, using formulas, and performing calculations. But Excel doesn't do a great job at presenting how a calculation has been made. And that's where XLC comes in. It's an add-in from the XLCalcs.com website. I've installed the XLC add-in and I can find it under the add-ins tab here. Each of these buttons is going to help me make calculation documents using Excel. It's all about naming and showing formulas. Let me show you what I mean by naming. I'm going to press return now and XLC will automatically recognize that this is a name and it's subscripted the O character to put it into a mathematically friendly notation. Let's do the same for that and the same for that. So I've named each of these cells now. Now I want to show the formula and I can do that mathematically using the EQS, the equation show function. It's a special function that XLC has introduced to Excel. I'm going to show the equation of the formula in B3. Okay, it's quite a simple formula, uh, but it, XLC does a good job of showing how that's been calculated. I'm going to carry on now and show some more naming. And I'm going to show you another button. If I select this whole line of cells now, I'm going to show you this button here, which is the doing exactly the same thing, but it's automatically going to insert the EQS function to display three formulas simultaneously. The interesting thing about these formulas is that they have things above the division line and things below the division line. And I'm going to show you how we've introduced that. In the formula, in the cell formula, there's some functions here that you might not recognize. It's the OVD over the division line and UND under the, div under the division line. These again are special XLC functions and it helps us to define what we're going to show above and below the division line in equations. XLC also uh, introduces tools for uh, getting Greek characters. I'm going to drag this over here. Okay, so this, this is a, a load of shortcuts here to Greek characters. And if I want to use this character, say, I can use this shortcut. It's uh, the character is phi, and the shortcut is vertical line J. I'll show you how that works. Let's pop in here the vertical line character followed by a J, and I don't need the D anymore. Now you can see what's happened there. I've named, I've renamed this cell, and this equation this equation and this equation have automatically updated. I can do the same thing again. So this is XLC. It's very good at showing how Excel performs calculations and it allows you to present them to a reader. Thank you very much for listening.